I had no desire to pick up this palette because of all the negative reviews that I saw about this early on. Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to play with the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset for the first time, and I'm super excited. This is what my palette looks like. It's brand new. It's actually kind of pretty. I mean, you have to like warm tones. <laughs> You have to be into warm tones in order to be able to enjoy this palette, I feel like, but um, or at least open-minded to them. I picked this palette up in September as part of a half dozen or more mini palettes that I picked up from the from the Natasha that I picked up from the Natasha Denona website. She was having a Labor Day sale, so I picked up several of them. If I remember correctly, I think I paid about twenty-one dollars for this, maybe twenty-three. Anyway. If you have been on beauty YouTube for a while, you have probably seen videos of this in the past when it first released about how the formula was not really up to par. But the updated reviews that I've gotten, mostly from like friends on Instagram, that are people who have purchased this palette more recently, they didn't purchase this palette a long time ago, they purchased this palette more recently, they seem to really enjoy it. So I feel like she probably updated the formula in this little mini palette that's what i'm hoping for so <laughs> fingers crossed that we're going to get a good look out of this palette here's what the shade colors look like up close mm. i feel like it's not going to be a real spectacular look but it'll look good with my shirt <laughs> so let's go ahead and get my eyes primed i'll scoot in and we'll get started so i've got all of my favorite brushes clean really excited about that. I'm going to go in with, I think what I'm going to do is go in with this, oh that's the dark shade though. I don't really like when I only have two mattes. <laughs> okay, I don't really like when there's only two mattes. I feel like I don't have enough choices about what's going to go in the in the crease and what might go as my deepening up shade. So since I only have two mattes and I do want this to be my deepening up shade, I guess I'm going to start with that but not put it all the way in the crease and let's just see how I can build this look out. I'm, <laughs> this palette is very out of my comfort zone, not only because it's a bunch of warm tones, <laughs> but also because there's only two mattes and there's three shimmers and I find that difficult to work with for me personally for the way that I do my makeup. I mean, I can work with it. It's just not my preference. I prefer having more mattes, <sighs> but it's a five pan. So let's see what we can do here. I'm also gonna try to not create too dramatic of a look, but I am gonna use all of the shades. Okay, that's a really pretty brown. It's a little bit more of like a caramel. Not as orange as I was expecting, so that's good. It's a beautiful matte though. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous formula for that brown. Wow. <laughs> My dog is snoring, he's so cute. Okay. Not sure if my shapes are looking the same. All right, I do like that a lot. I'm gonna take this little pencil, it's a natural haired pencil, and I'm gonna go into this light shimmer. Go ahead and start putting that where I need my lightest shade to be where I want it to be really. It's not a need, it's a want. Ooh, that's a beautiful inner corner color. So that's good. Ooh, that is really pretty. I see like just the slightest hint of like a copper undertone to that, like a slightly orange, not orange, but like a brown orange copper. <laughs> um, Kind of like a coppery colored undertone to that. Oh, my light just went out. Did you see that? Ooh, that's creepy. 
Do you see that happening? Ooh. <laughs> Did the light bulb go out or is somebody sending me a message? I think the light bulb just went out. <laughs> I'm going to just leave that alone. So I'm sorry that my backdrop just went dark. Ooh, that's a really, really pretty color. I love that so much. This is the perfect brow bone and inner corner highlight color for me. That's really pretty. Okay. I'm excited to see where this is going. So I really only have one more matte and two shimmers left to use. I'm going to take a little rougher 13, which is a, like a blunt edged fluffy blender into the lightest matte it it's probably going to be darker than I think <laughs> it's not going to be as light as I anticipate I'm sure let's just see what happens I'm going to connect these two here is that the color I was expecting yeah I guess it is it just appears a little bit more peach on me than I thought it was going to be. It's kind of pretty though. Huh. Like almost like a like a slightly peach, a burnt peach undertone to that. It's really beautiful. Wow. It almost reminds me of the peach in the mini Biba, the Natasha Denona mini Biba just a little bit less bright than that one but this is very similar to that I feel like slight bit more camel undertone than that one is but very close very very close in my opinion okay I'm gonna go in with a little shader I should probably do a bigger shader hold on I'm going to take this kind of fluffy shader, paddle edged fluffy shader, which what is this even? I got this in my lucky bag earlier this year. This is the Worker 3. I never placed an order for this brush. This isn't a brush that I would have ordered because of the way that it looked online. Um, but I'm really happy to have it. <laughs> and it's actually a really useful shade. So I feel like that lucky bag, I got really lucky with it. <laughs> Anyway, okay. Comment down below and let me know. Have you ever picked up a lucky bag from Beautylish? I'm not sure if I'm going to get one this year or not. I might. I don't want to. I, I don't think I'm going to get lucky again. Like, I'll be, I'll, I'll probably be really disappointed. I think I'm going to skip the lucky bag this year. I'm going to go in with this fiery orange shimmer. Nothing tapped off, so it's going to be really creamy and beautiful. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Ooh, that's really pretty. That is really sunset-y. It's not, it's not as copper as I thought it was gonna be. I feel like it's got a little bit more of an orangey undertone. Can you see that? It is really pretty. All right, so now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna take this fluffy domed pencil and I'm gonna take this last shimmer here. Okay, I don't know what this is gonna look like dry, but I'm not gonna find out. <laughs> I wanna make sure that this red is really punchy and fiery, because I'm gonna put this right back here on the outer edge. Whoa, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's what this lip was needing was just a little bit of oomph. What do you think? I really like that. <laughs> wow, that's really pretty and it's like just enough to provide a little bit of interest without overpowering the look. That's a really pretty shade. I'm gonna do that again. 
excited to see how that looks again. Let's do that again. Wow. I feel like Sunset is the perfect name for this palette. This is really giving me true Sunset vibes. You know, I've never even looked at this palette up against the Midi Sunset. Okay, I really like the way that looks. I feel like I need to amp, oops, amp. I feel like I need to amp up the brown shade a little bit though. So I'm gonna go back in with that deeper matte and just make sure I didn't lose any of that intensity out here. I'm going to take my teeniest, tiniest little natural haired pencil, which is a uh, Ruffer 23, and I'm going to go into this red shimmer again. I'm going to spray it because I'm going to put it here in the bottom of the front lower lash line, and I don't want any fallout, so that's why I sprayed it. Wow. That's really fun. That's the eye look right there. <laughs> so that's the eye look with just eyeshadow. I used every single shade in the palette. I'm going to add some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back to show you the completed look. That fucking thing keeps going in and out. Dude, are you seeing what's happening behind me with that light? It keeps going in and out. It was just on a minute ago. And then it turned off and then it turned on and then it turned off again. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right there. We're just a little freaky. Okay, so here is the completed eye look. I really do like it, but I don't like it with this lip. I feel like this lip needs to be amped up. Let me pick a red. I'm going to save this for a different video. Okay, where is my red? It's in my purse. Hold on. Okay. I still have my lip products in my purse from the other night. <laughs> Get this broken? I hope not. Okay, so I feel like a red lip would really go nicely with this look. So let me wipe off my Pat McGrath. Um, what color do I have on? I really don't even remember. This is the shade name, if you can see. I don't know if that's focused. I'll leave it down below in case you're curious. It's one that I'm trying to pan, so I wear it in a lot of my videos. But today... Today, I think we're gonna do a red lip. Today, we're gonna do a red lip to bring out the fiery red in the edge of the eyeshadow. And I'm going in with my About Face lip paint. I'm going in with my About Face lip paint. I always go in. With a good layer of lip balm first. For any lip liner that I'm gonna do. I mean, for any liquid lip that I'm going to do, but also for this. Okay, that's with the brush, and I got a little messy because... I wasn't using my enlarged mirror at first. I'm going to let that dry and then I will perfect the lip line with the lip liner that matches. Just give that a moment. How do we, how do we like that with the eyeshadow? I like it with the eyeshadow. It's still wet. still drying. Okay. 
my husband is in a meeting, so I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. Okay. It's about as good as a lip line is going to get, so hope it don't look too bad. There's a Lucy Love fluffing in the air. Okay. So here is the finished look. Let me know what you think. I really, really like it. I like the look a lot more now with the red lips. I feel like the red really brings out the fire edge, but I also kind of feel like I could have done a slight bit more blending of my edge. So let me just get that blended out now that I've taken a moment to assess the situation. Okay. I love the look. <laughs> So here's the final look now that I've got my edges blended and my red lips on, eyeliner and mascara. Let me know what you think. Do you have this palette? Have you thought about getting this palette? Did all the negative reviews when the palette first came out stop you from buying this palette? I just want to say that this palette has a fabulous formula. I feel like based off of all of the early reviews that I saw of this palette from the popular like older videos on this palette, I feel like this is not the same formula. I feel like she updated it and improved it to her regular formula because I had absolutely no problem with any of these shades. This is a great palette. It's a great formula. I highly recommend this little mini sunset from Natasha Denona if you've been eyeing it or if you're interested in the color story or if you're thinking about picking up a little stocking stuffer for yourself or for someone that you care about. This would make a beautiful gift for Christmas. And although because of the red, it could go very, you know, the red and the gold, it could go very Christmassy vibes. It's also very like springtime summer because of the kind of orangey warm tones of it. It's also very fall. This is a year-round palette, in my opinion. I love this palette. I love the look that I created. I love the formula, the quality. I'm okay with the fact that there's only two mattes. <laughs> it worked out okay. So I really enjoyed playing with this. I'm really happy to have this in my collection. I had no desire to pick up this palette because of all the negative reviews that I saw about this early on. So I'm glad I took a chance. This palette is fantastic. The formula is fabulous. And, and I look forward to playing with it again. So that's all I've got to say about the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette today. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you have this palette? Do you want this palette? Have you picked up this palette recently? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to leave that down in the comment section. And yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to click the thumbs up button. It really does help my channel out so much. And make sure you're subscribed so we can hang out again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!